Check one, two, check one, two. What is up, guys? Your Riddles, your boy Kagi, back at it again with a new video. And in this video, I bring you the GameStop NFT wallet and the GameStop NFT marketplace. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to teach you how to get involved into this. So let's jump right into it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to connect right here and it's going to tell you which wallet to use. Now, I do have MetaMask, but I'm going to teach you how to do the GameStop wallet. I have never done it before, but I know exactly how this works. So we're going to go right here, install wallet. We're going to go download. You can do it on your phone or you can do it on the browser. As you can see right here, it makes you choose. We're going to do the browser. We're going to download it for Chrome. Cool. Once you have the extension up here, you want to, you know, populate it right here. And we're going to go ahead, create a new wallet. We're going to create a new wallet. And it says, before we begin, please make sure you back up your secret re recovery phrase. Now, there's going to be a few fr uh, phrases that they're going to give you. This phrase is, you do not, you do not want to put it in your computer. Because you, if your computer gets hacked, then those uh, phrases, they're going to be able to take it and replicate that in another computer and take your NFTs out of there. So what you want to do is you want to put this phrases down in a piece of paper, maybe, you know, under your bed, maybe in a book, maybe somewhere in a U. USB outside of your computer, somewhere that it's outside of your computer where nobody has access to. So you really got to think about it. You can have millions of dollars in the future. You can have many NFTs that you're, you know, they're close to your heart in the future. And if you lose those phrases, you basically lose your ability to transfer out or do anything with them. So right here, it's going to tell you reveal secret recovery phrase. You never want to show this to anybody. Like I said, you want to put this down in a piece of paper somewhere safe. All right. Now, once you save your C phrase, you want to put a password. Now this password only only works for the computer that you have this seed phrase on, right? So if you put this seed phrase on another computer, that's going to be another password. Like the, the password is not your recovery to your wallet. All right, I am set. I already put my password, save my seed phrase and view my wallet. Now, do you want to deposit funds? No funds on Loopring Layer 2. Deposit funds and activate your Loopring Layer 2 wallet in order to transact on Loopring. So deposit funds. Now, for the people that are new into crypto, the best way, you know, the easiest way is just to use your credit card or use your debit card right here. Boom. You could buy with MoonPay. You could buy with Ramp. You put your information and then you put your wallet address right here. Boom, buy with ETH, buy MoonPay, boom, boom, boom. Is This is the easy way. This is the easy way for the people that are new into crypto. Very easy to do that, right? Now, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to take my Ethereum address right here that I created with my GameStop wallet. And there's three types of address. We got the Ethereum, we got the Loop Ring, which is another blockchain, and then we got Immutable X. So there's three wallets here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deposit Ethereum right here in this wallet. And then I'm going to, you know, move it from blockchain to blockchain if I need to. So what I'm going to do right here is that I'm going to receive some Ethereum right here. I'm going to copy my address, copy to clipboard, and I'm going to send it from one of my wallets into this wallet right now. So as you can see right here, I sent some Ethereum to my Ethereum wallet right here. But I can actually transfer this Ethereum into Loop Ring and also into Immutable X. And you might be asking yourself, why would I do that? Well, there's certain NFTs and certain projects that live in different blockchains. So in this case, there might be some NFTs in Loop Ring and there might be some NFTs in Immutable X. So if you want to buy something, maybe in Loop Ring, you might be like, you know what? Let me transfer some money into Loop Ring. Or if there's something in Immutable X, you might be like, like, yo, let me transfer some money into Immutable X and back and forth. So very, very simple. Now, we're going to do that process right here. So I'm going to go ahead and move right here. Boom. And I'm going to go ahead and move it to Loop Ring. i never done anything on Loop Ring. So I'm going to try it out. I'm going to be like 0 0.05, so $85. I'm going to put it in Loop Ring. I'm going to review that transfer. I'm going to go fast right here. Perfect. Fast, fast. And the fees is going to be $3 around there. Confirm move. There we go. Deposit request sent. It can take up to 30 minutes for your tokens to be available on layer two. So right here, very, very important. You can actually click on this and it'll tell you how the transaction is doing. So something that you want to learn how to read blockchains if you're new into crypto, how to read transactions, what is going on behind the scenes. It's not that hard. It's just a ledger, a bunch of information that tells you what is going on. All right, cool. Ladies and gentlemen, now that we have our GameStop wallet, we're going to go connect right here and we're going to go to the marketplace. This is going to populate and it's going to say connect. Perfect. Perfect. Now we have money. We got cash. Your wallet has not been activated. Pay a one time fee of 0 0.0024 for the one cent to activate loop ring. Yeah, sure. I'll pay it. All right. Perfect. Successfully activated. So let's go spend some money. Let's go spend some money, ladies and gentlemen. So let's explore, explore NFTs, NFTs. Let's see. Let's see. We got, we got, we got $40. We got $80 to spend. Eighty dollar, ooh, Betty Boop. Is that is that is that real Betty Boop? That can't be real Betty Boop. 
All right, I kind of like this stupid monkeys animated. Let's go in there. Let's go in there. Hopefully they don't charge me, you know, like a shit ton of money. Can we go low to high? Low to high? Low price. Give me a low price. Come on, man. Holy shit. Holy shit. They're trying to charge me 377. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm poor. All right, we got stupid monkeys pajamas or meta bunnies. I like the stupid monkey pajamas. Let's see. Let's see. I kind of like these. I kind of like this. These are actually good. Actually good. 10 NFTs found. Stupid monkeys pajamas. I kind of buy, I'll buy one of these. I'll buy one of the pajamas. You know, why not? Boom. Can't pay $300 for the monkeys, but I can pay for the pajamas. All right, let's see. We got the Meta Bunnies and Digital Paintings by Rubin Koski. Let's see, Rubin Koski. Let me see. Maybe, I go, oh, not bad. Forgotten Place. All right, all right. Digital Paintings. I mean, his pyjamas are pretty expensive, you know, 300 bucks. I'm not trying to pay that. But, you know, maybe I can support him right here on the Digital Painting. Digital Painting. I kind of like him. I kind of like him. Let's support Rubin's. Here we go. Confirm payment. Confirmed. Yo, yo, I'm messing around here. You know, this thing might blow up. You know, this is how it is. You know, NFT sometimes they're like, you know, out of nowhere, it just blows up. It just blows up. And uh, it's just kind of how it is. It's just kind of how it is, man. It's just kind of how it is. You know, you know what I mean? Let's see. Let's see. Now, if we go to the front page of GameStop, you're going to see right here that there's going to be a lot of NFTs for games. These are real games right here. Ember Sword, great game. You got Illuvium, great game. You got Guild of Guardians, great game. Gods and Chain, great game. So very, very soon, coming soon, there's going to be NFTs for games. And that is why I'm making this because there's going to be, there's going to be a movement of people buying in this platform, the GameStop platform for gaming. If you guys enjoy our content, make sure you guys follow us at the Juice Gaming Team on Twitter. And if you guys want to stay up to date with Web3 Gaming News, make sure you guys follow Juice Gaming News on Twitter. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video.